All right, welcome to another day here in Wellington. Clearly not the best weather today, but we're still gonna be making the most of it. We're gonna be visiting one of the most iconic seafood restaurants in Wellington, Ortega Fish Shack. But before that, we have many, many stops along the way. But first, of course, you already know, let's get some coffee. It is colder today, but you know, cold drink, I don't, I don't really care. Also, it's just funny, this whole holiday, like, yeah, we're on holiday, but we're constantly waking up earlier than we would normal times when we go to work. So it's like, make it make sense, please. Been fixed done at uh, Evil Twins. Very, very cool store. Got to talk to one of the twins as well, which was nice. Oh, now the weather's clearing up a bit. We're off to Hannah's Lane, where one of the famous laneways here in Wellington, to have some uh, peanut butter toasties at Fix and Fog. Let's go. All right, welcome to this cute little corner of Hannah's Laneway. This is the this is the Fix and Fog's kiosk. I mean. It's quite literally a hole in the wall. As you know, Fix and Fogs do some of the best peanut butter in New Zealand, but you know, Pixel will, will have to fight you over that. But I, I ain't here to debate which one's the better peanut butter, but they do some really loaded uh, toasties. We honestly just got one because we, we're still kind of still kind of full from those uh, jugs from Evil Twins, which was very nice. This is their big fat banoffee toasty. You know, there's some bananas. There's the proprietary peanut butter some yogurt, some, some walnuts, and some chocolate shavings all around. Ooh, that's a fat stack. Beautiful day for a toasty. Oh yeah, mmm. This is like the stuff that you try to make at home for a breakfast, but just elevated to a whole other level. Yeah, it just tastes like your ideal breakfast toasty. I just love that combo, like that. The bright yogurt, oh, that, that luscious, very, very strong. Peanutty, peanut butter, and of course the bananas and the walnuts get that nutty, nutty edge. Obviously, the peanut butter is like more on the natural side, not like your artificial, very sweet American peanut butter. This is the this is the real stuff, real peanuts only. Mm, really good. Lunchtime, and we are here at a very, very legendary lunch spot. We are at Casey Cafe and Takeaway. Oh my goodness, when you enter, there's like a massive menu with like, I don't know, a hundred items. I'm so intimidated. But you know, this place is legendary when there's literally an Instagram account dedicated to reviewing all the items. For your information, it's called Casey Review, and we're just like scrolling through that um, profile just now, seeing what to eat. So we just got a couple of items. Oh my goodness. This Ah, oh, so excited, let's eat. Okay, first dish. Just got some, just got four wontons. They were like a dollar each. Come to the, I'm sure, I think it's like a sweet and sour sauce. Looks very crisp. Oh my goodness, that's how. Oh my, oh my goodness, I'm gonna dip it there. Um. I apologize for that very messy. Mm. I mean, it's wonton. It's nice. It's crispy. It's got some meat in it all. The sauce makes it very, very good as well. Can't go wrong. Okay, so of course, me loving noodles. We got a dry noodle dish. It's just their dry egg noodles with their roast barbecue duck. Apparently, uh, this is the best place to get 
duck here. Well, according to them, so we'll see. Let's place the noodles first. But yeah, you can see that beautiful light soy sauce kind of in the bottom just to coat the noodles. I really enjoy that sauce. It's like a bit soy saucy, but it has a bit of like this sweetness to it. But it's also very light, but it's not bland, which is good. But I quite like that. It's not too heavy as well. Now I really like the noodly texture, but I don't really eat that much duck, especially when we're with our parents because our mom's like, you know, duck, it has such high cholesterol. But we're in Wellington, so. Oh. Very tender, very nice. I mean, the skin isn't crispy, it's not meant to. I can't really compare it to other duck because I don't have duck that often, but I just know it's very tasty, very delicious, and nice, tender, juicy meat. Main event in Casey Cafe. We got the eggplant with salted fish and pork mince clay pot. Chunks of eggplant. There's some uh, pork mince in there and this very velvety sauce. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just get some. Uh, Put it in with some of the rice, some pork mince, some eggplant, some rice. Oh yeah. Mm. And just the stuff of dreams, just comfort to the max. Oh my goodness. Let me have one more bite. You can take those bits of salted fish as well. It's like that salty umami cake. It's so tender as well. The eggplant just melts in your mouth. The sauce is so velvety, it just like coats the inside of your mouth. And and of course, with the rice to soak up this beautiful dish. Oh my goodness, I can I can see why this is like a local institution. It's such a shame we can't go back just to try a bit more, but yeah, that was that was, K, that was KC Cafe for you. What a what a great time. On to the next spot. Oh, uh, it really said Windy Welly. Windy yeah. Welly. <laughs> right, that was a very fulfilling lunch. It's it's such, a, it's such a beautiful day today now. It is time to channel our inner Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, because we are going on a tour of the Wellington Chocolate Factory. Justin Hannah's Laneway, one of my favorite bean to bar chocolate makers, not just in New Zealand, but the whole world. Let's see what they have in store for us. Let's, let's eat some chocolate. <laughs> have like special edition, limited edition. Uh, Coffee flavored chocolate, an iconic <laughs> Wellington <laughs> beverage with an iconic Wellington chocolate brand. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, this one's hibiscus, very holiday flavor apparently. Very spiceful indeed. And after the tour, you get 20% off any chocolate bar purchase. So uh, I might grab a few. I might grab this. I might grab this. I might grab this. To be honest, I think I've tried them all. I'm just, I'm just getting the ones that I don't have the packaging for because like I hoard like chocolate bar packaging. <laughs> oh yeah, we had you like the tour of the Wellington Chocolate Factory. Oh, that was really nice. It was um, it was very intimate since the place is quite small, but. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty full from that. I'm kind of knocked out from all the little chocolates and the hot chocolate and the cookie. Oh, that cookie though, that was so good. But yeah, that was really nice, you know, learning about chocolate, the history, the process, the flavor, the methods. Highly recommend. You know what they say, Yanby. One does not simply best Wellington City on an impeccable 24-hour time period. 
So we took the cable car up. It was a quick, it was, I don't know, it was like three minutes, but it was really fun. Once you get to the top, you get the really good, beautiful views of Wellington. It's such a blue and beautiful day right now. So we're just walking around the Botanic Gardens. You know, it's just a really cool place to relax and wine, um, admire the nature. There's a lot of different um, plants and nature from all around the world. It's also completely free of charge, which is nice. It's almost like a park in a way where it's kind of just like, there's no really like set big entrance or anything, which is kind of cool. So yeah, let's explore. See how cool. Look at this pretty, they've even got disco lights. And there's a silver gnome garden. Yeah, quite nice. <laughs> Would you look at this? Oh, it's the bear gang. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. That's cool. You know, they're all having a little party, a little picnic. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nice recharging there. <laughs> you know what? Never <laughs> Look at that, Yabby. Winning. Winning, baby. Winning Wednesday. Oh, yeah, it's Wednesday. Winning. I don't know what it is, Yambi, but something about that building tells you that uh, it might be a seafood restaurant. Okay, welcome to dinner. We just uh, did a quick walk across the CBT to the iconic Ortega Fish Shack. I mean, it's in the name and literally the colorful decor. But of course, they specialize in the most delicious seafood, which we'll see for ourselves. This is our designated break the bank meal. So we're gonna we're gonna be ordering some stuff, some expensive stuff. Also, this meal. I mean, to be honest, all of our meals in Wellington are all funded by our Google AdSense money that we get from our YouTube channel. So you know, if you're watching this right now. You, you, my viewer, my special viewer, you made this happen. You, you put those coins in our bank for us to afford these nice meals in Valentina and produce this beautiful content for you guys. Hello? I love you. All right, to start, some, uh, some sherry. Honestly, I've never had a sherry before. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. I'll just get it. It's a, it's a Puerto Fino from the town of Puerto de Santa Maria, sloth. Slightly creamy and very, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's, that's strong. Oh, that, yeah, that's nice. That's all right. Mm. Very, very different. Never had a drink like this before. So I got a special in-house drink of H2O. Let's have a, have a try. <laughs> You know, the aftertaste of the tap, the side note of the H, the two, and that after kick of the O. Mm. <laughs> oh, that smells nice. Okay, so to start, we got a really, really creamy French toast. It comes with snapper today, so that is, I've never really had like a fish sandwich like that before, but I'm very intrigued. It's very cute, very tiny. Yeah. I mean, it's good. That snapper. Delicious. Seafoody and a nice bouncy bread. You know, with a French toast style. That is new. That is real good. Okay, next up for the entrees, we just got a prawn dish. It is like a typical, like, creamy, garlicky, lemony pasta dish. It has, like, a bit of tagliatelle. Only a bit since it's a entree. But, you know me, my weakness is creamy seafoody pasta. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it tastes like something our mom makes, but in a really good way. Our mom's a good cook. It honestly just tastes like my childhood. 
It's really good. I mean, you know, the, the prawns are pretty plump too. So next entree is an Ortega mainstay. It is their ceviche. Yeah. This is albacore tuna. It's got avocado, Vietnamese mint, lemongrass, and a uh, crayfish oil. It's even got these like crispy things. Oh, it looks like um like salmon eggs as well. There we go. One of everything. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm. So fresh. So citrusy. Just all the elements as well. Like that, that lemon grass adds a thing. The mint as well. The avocado adds that creaminess. I just love like the petrol elements as well. With those like crispy bits. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't say broth, like the sauce that it comes in is really great. And also, that tuna is just, is just melting your mouth. I can see why this is a classic in this restaurant. I know this is a bit more of an upscale restaurant, I can't believe I've double parked here at Ortega, oh my lord. Oh, I think this is, so this next drink, I think it was like a, their special, like an Albarino white wine, whatever the hell that means. I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to drinks, but... Oh yeah. Pleasant white wine. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh hi. <laughs> we have arrived at the at the beautiful, beautiful main. So the first one I'm gonna taste is the Moki Golden Beet Egg Fennel Celery and Anchovy Mayo. I already cut it up for the for the TikTok. But look oh yeah, look at that beautiful fish. Get some skin. Try to get every element. Oh, yeah. It's just a beautiful, thick, meaty, just like really perfectly cooked fish. With all the greens as well, it just makes it like a really fresh element to it. And the egg gives it that creaminess. Very good. Main event, we really we really went, oh yeah, we've got some AdSense money and, and ordered the crayfish. Honestly, I do not remember the last time we had crayfish or any sort of lobster. I guess, you know, it's always too expensive for us, but here we really went all out. You know, it looks like a simple dish, really highlighting the quality of the crayfish here. It's got like a cocktail sauce, some uh, rock, uh, a rustic summery salad, some grilled sourdough, you know, that's just uh, Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's just like bouncy, perfectly cooked. The cocktail sauce is like the. It's, like a, it's a really good version of the stuff that you get with like um, prawn cocktails and something like that. Mayo we buy. The creaminess really complements that lobster really well. I'm just gonna have a bit of that. Uh, that summary, that summary salad. Oh, yeah. the sour. Oh, yeah. right. mm. I mean, you know us, we're like kind of big into like spices and big flavors and pizza seasoning. But I also really appreciate places like Ortega that kind of just, you know, like they specialize in seafood and just really elevate the quality and just highlight the quality and the freshness of the of the produce that they uh, that they present in front of you. All right, it's dessert time, baby. So we ordered a Taiwan crepe, and it has like an orangey caramel. Look how beautiful this looks. It's so shiny and thick and luscious, and it also comes with some vanilla ice cream. So let's get a bit of that first. Let's have it all together. I'm excited. Oh yeah, that is just luxurious. I love how beautiful citrusy orangey florally scent and taste. They're all perfectly harmonious and the ice cream just adds that nice coldness because it's a hot dish. Final dish of the night is a chocolate mousse, a very pretty chocolate mousse with a red wine plum, milk sorbet, and a Breton butter biscuit. Yeah, die and some mousse. It's really good, like, just like the other dishes, you know? it's like really well balanced. You get the moisture of the chocolate, very smooth, the tartness of the red wine, plum, the milkiness of the, of the milk sorbet, and like the textural addition of the bread and butter, butter biscuit, you know, balanced as all things should be. It's a very good and very pretty dessert. Right, so excellent meal here at Ortega. You know, a bit something more upscale, expensive, and uh, fine dining than what we've had recently. Very good, uh, cutest lunchbox music. I know 
know they say you can't beat Wally in a good day, but what if it's a great day? What then? Does the world just explode onto itself or implode onto itself because of Wellington's awesomeness? Because today was a great day, I guess we're all gonna die now. So yeah, just ending our day walking around this is the beautiful, the very beautiful Wellington waterfront. I just cannot get enough of it. It's golden hour as well. As per usual, Wellington delivering again on the food front. But yeah, let's hope for some more weather like this tomorrow, our day four in Wellington. So I'll end the video there. Thank you for watching another one of our food and travel videos here in Windy Wellington. And see you on the next one.